because his spirit is pure. It was the spirit of God. Verse 31. There came then his brethren and his mother, and standing without, sent uh, unto him, calling him. They're concerned for him. That's okay. That's love. That's family love. No problem. 32. And the multitude said about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren without seek for thee. Now, many people misunderstand this. They think it's an insult to his mother. It's not at all. He's teaching. Listen to it carefully. 33. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? Question. 34. And he looked round about on them which sat about him, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. This is those that believed, those that knew and understood. He looked at them. Well, it's a many membered body. They're one family, one body under the blood covenant of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is family. And naturally, that was not an insult to his mother. It was simply broadening the teaching, the teaching of Christianity that makes up the many-membered body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 35, For whosoever shall do the will of God, this, this is the parameters now, absorb it, whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. Why? We're one body. And that one body in Christ. Uh, so many people, if you're not careful, you, you forget that point. That we are one. And it takes the entire body doing what God gives you to do. God, and always remember, God never shows partiality. You are one family. The foot has the same love from Almighty God that the mouth does, okay? It was speaking of the many-membered body and the duties that are assigned. Every duty is precious. Every job is precious. And it all pays the same in God's house. Uh, whom God gives much, he expects much. And those that God gives much are not, a, they have no problem delivering much. Uh, that is to say, in time, in love, and whatever the case may be, they're part of that family. And it is understanding that. You might say, well, that sounds a little unequal to me that some would give much and some little. No, it makes no difference. God considers if God gives one much and expects much, he's got something he wants done. And he's going to choose somebody that can cut it. But he does not show them any partiality any more than one that does little or can do little because God only gives them little. Why? It's very important what they accomplish. In other words, it takes the whole family. <coughs> you know, um, many spiritual families if you're not careful if you don't do as God tells you to then <clears throat> you can lose part of the limbs and uh, spiritually speaking that's not good and so never handicap yourself and never show never get concerned with who's the greatest in the house of God I can, it, it's real easy to answer who is greatest in the house of God? God is. He's, he is our father. He's our king. And we are all servants of that house. So that's not a big deal. And it doesn't take a wise person long to understand that. All right. So...